Welcome to Investor's Insights, episode number 126. Today we will be discussing risk to your portfolio. Is it in the economy or is it in the politics? And if you like what we have to say, then let us know. If you don't like what we have to say, let us know. We like the discussion, we love the debate. And the other thing that we're gonna ask of you is here at Five Plan Partners, we have a goal to get more and more people watching our vlog. If you like us, if you want to share our ideas with others, then please forward it to colleagues, uh, people you know, neighbors. Uh, we would appreciate that because more and more people are watching our vlog and we're very excited about that. So on that note, let's get started. I'm Greg Powell and this is Investors Insights. You're listening to Investors Insights with President and CEO Greg Powell and the Portfolio Strategy Team at Five Plan Partners. Guys, we had a great heated discussion yes, this yes, morning. True? Yes, yes, we did. It was. Yeah, nobody Good. need coffee at the table. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, everybody was wide awake and uh, high spirited, I guess I should say. <laughs> and that was pretty neat. Now, let me tell you why we were excited. Uh, we were excited from the standpoint that if you had been watching our vlogs, weeks ago, we said that the politics in Washington were going to get nasty. Mm, True? Yes, yes, we even said that uh, Boehner would probably be called up for the vote. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, he had the same source of information that we had. <laughs> because not only did Boehner... He didn't get called up for the vote, but he said, you know what? I think I'll take a little action here, and I'm going to resign, which changed all the dynamics uh, as to what's going on in the politics in D.C. So we discussed that long before it was announced. You know, we like to be ahead of the curve before you hear it on the, uh, the TV or the Internet. We're trying to bring you insight. Now, that said, we said at the beginning of the year, deflation would be a problem. We still believe here at Five Plan Partners, and you, yes. we're going to inter interject yeah. here, that interest rates will not go up this year, mm. that yeah. the Fed is trying to talk up rates, but they cannot raise rates. So hold our feet to the fire on that one. And then from the standpoint that is moving forward, economy, we've got a lot of different economic data that we're having to deal with here. So we uh, we also said oil prices were going to continue to go down, and commodities mm -hmm. are doing that as we speak, mm -hmm. and everybody's still very concerned about that and could have a huge impact on the overall market. Mm -hmm. Now, Bobby, talk about the economic data, because yeah. you brought up some good points uh, I had to debate you on. And you you uh, gave a great presentation, so talk about it. Yeah, so there are obvious headwinds in this market. You know, global slowdown, yeah. especially in China, the mm -hmm. Fed uncertainty. And so what I want to talk about is where we see the growth the next few weeks. Okay. And so one of the things that came out last week was GDP. Second quarter GDP was revised upwards to 3.9%. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's up from 0.6% in the first quarter. And right. so that's a positive. Right. This U.S. economy is on a strong foundation Consumer confidence continues to be a positive. Okay. And so where we see growth is in the private sector, the consumer. Gasoline continues to be low. Yeah. And so we really need to consume. But, but you've got gasoline off. prices coming down, mm -hmm. but oil companies are laying people mm -hmm. off. Correct. Mm -hmm. So there's a trade-off. There's, there's, there's a trade-off trade going on there. So, yeah. Right. Uh, but we see the growth of the private sector uh, and with the consumers. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Trey. From your standpoint, uh, you you brought up some some good points about Boehner's resignation. So we got good positive economic data. But talk about the politics. Sure. So interestingly, so la last week we talked about how, and I think a few weeks ago as well, how the risk to Boehner was that he might be called to the vote to be replaced as speaker. Right. And that was mm -hmm. coming from the conservative part of the party. And I think it was around thirty or forty or so conservatives Correct. might vote to replace him. And so that was believed to be able to push him more conservative on the debt ceiling debate and on the continuing resolution to fund the government. Right. Well, he got ahead of that and stepped down and said, so now that kind of removes that conservative pressure and could get him more in line with the Democrats to help push for, push forward what's called a continuing resolution, right. which would fund the government over a temporary basis and set up a further debate, which, we th which could cause risk down the road when they talk about the debt ceiling. Okay, and when you say cause risk, what do you mean by that? What happens explain to our viewers. Is historically, when the government starts debating on a debt ceiling or a shutdown, that causes un un uneasiness in the market and right. could cause risk for to move to move lower on that. Okay. And so what was what was thought to be a decision that had to be made in the next two days with Boehner having to decide whether or not to push a budget. Which way to vote. It rolled mm -hmm. down which way to vote. He him stepping down 
and taking away that conservative pressure may have pushed it off till after he's fully stepped out and they replaced him. Okay. Which could be several weeks out. And so really it's a band-aid. It's a short-term band-aid. Mm-hmm. And then right. with Boehner yeah. resigning, sure. the next Speaker of the House is going to fight, have to fight a lot harder uh, for on the Republican side. And so where Boehner was meeting in the middle, mm-hmm. it could get really nasty in December. Uh, with the new speaker. So right. December, uh, December, what, the first two weeks of yeah, December, weeks of December is, is the last opportunity to either raise the debt ceiling yeah. or, or to yeah. keep not raise it, and to shut you, the government down. And to, your, to Bobby, say, Bobby point out that the economy is growing, but uh, we see the markets reacting negative more to po- political front page news. Right. And that, no one's paying attention to any economic growth. Yeah. Yeah. And interesting thing, you see the gas price coming down. That's causing people to drive more, which actually has begun to delay the highway funding bill debate because more driving means more more revenue in the highway funding right. bill. Uh, and so you see that consumer confidence actually, again, pushes back maybe some political risk. But it's all, and and the highway like, funding bill was going to be a big debate. Huge. It, it's still, it's still it's will. Still, yeah, right. It's just pushed back now. Right. And we still have the Iranian deal out there. Okay. Got to get that done. Yeah. So uh, actually talk about, you know, you're sitting there as a— Politician to raise the debt ceiling. Right. Uh, you got your voters out there that have portfolios in the market. Uh, from the standpoint, there's more to the uh, detail, like uh, you brought up in our meeting and, and, and gave a great synopsis uh, in thorough detail. But give us a, a, a quick summary here sure. in that decision making process. Well, I'll go back to what Trey said with this debt ceiling debate. The guys and I feel like this could get really nasty or even more than usual. And one example of that is the G20 and what's going on in international taxation. We'll say, well, what does that have to do with the proverbial price of tea in China? Right. Well, the truth of the matter is anytime you're doing a budget, it's like your household. It's what you're spending to go out and what you're making. Right. Well, the top line this year of what U.S. companies are bringing in taxation-wise to contribute that is really changing sort of over here with the right. G20 where those taxes are. So our point on that is you've got so many political things that are really granular like that going on in the debt ceiling debate, this time on the revenue side, that suggests to us that this could get really, really wicked between now and the end of the year. So that's very portfolio impactful. Sure. That's great. Well, uh, you can see there's a lot of details that we're trying to keep up with here at Five Plan Partners. And so we will, throughout the week and coming weeks, continue to give you uh, information and insight. Uh, Please know that as we're going through these details, it's a volatile time with a lot of information coming at us. And so don't be surprised if there's some extra vlogs out there uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, And as you can tell, uh, it won't be dull. And hopefully you don't find these vlogs dull as well. And when you finish, you go, that was well worth my time. Have a great week. And we'll look forward to uh, talking to you. More information at FIPlanPartners.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA, SIPC.